it's important to feel comfortable about different data structures in Python. For example, we have a list which is built in Python data type, and it can hold different types of data. To create a list, you basically use square brackets. For example, here we define a variable, my underscore list, and it is square bracket, including one, comma two, comma three. It has three elements in it. You can create another list. My underscore list, which is a variable name, is square bracket. You have a string using single quotes, and then comma 23, which is an integer, comma 100 point, 232, which is a floating number, and another string. And then you close off the square bracket. Please note that list cannot manage arithmetic operations, so we need something different. That's why we introduce array. An array is a specialized data structure for numerical operations. Array is different from a list because it can only hold similar objects. For example, all numbers. Array can manage arithmetic operations. Later on, you're going to see example how we perform different arithmetic operations on an array. For example, my underscore array can hold one, two, three, four, five. So please pay attention to the format. Here, open, close square bracket, and we list the numbers and separating them with comma. While a basic array-like structure can be created using a Python list, there are differences between Python lists and arrays, especially when we're using NumPy. As you remember, at the beginning of the course, we talked about NumPy library. NumPy is a powerful Python library used for numerical and mathematical operations. It provides support for large multidimensional arrays and matrices. NumPy is widely used in various scientific and engineering fields for tasks such as data analysis, machine learning, deep learning, and so on. In Python, when you import a library, you give yourself access to its functions and capabilities. Importing NumPy as NP is common convention used by Python community. It's a way to create a shorthand or alias for the library. It makes it easier to refer to it when you're using its functions. So make sure to import NumPy as NP. In statistics and data science, you're interested in answering different types of questions. For example, what is the average number of cups of coffee consumed each day over a week? So what are you going to do? You're going to run surveys. You're going to ask friends, family, colleagues, classmates, how many cups of coffee you drink each week. After you collected the data, you're going to go to your Jupyter Notebook or Google Colab, and you're going to import NumPy as NP you're going to create a variable called coffee underscore consumption, and you're going to use np.array to put the list of data into array form. np.array is a function used to create a new NumPy array. It takes an iterable like list or a tuple as an argument and converts it into a NumPy array. Then you're going to create another variable, average underscore coffee, which is np.mean, open parenthesis, coffee underscore consumption, which is the previous variable you created and is basically an array. So you're basically going to find the average of these numbers np.mean is a numpy function that calculates the average of a set of numbers. Then you're going to display the result by typing print, open parenthesis, average coffee consumption in cups, in double quotes, comma, average underscore coffee, which is the variable that you defined previously. 
the result should be average coffee consumption in cups two. So let's jump into Jupyter Notebook and check to see what's going on here. So perfect. What are we going to do? First, you might say, hey, why we are not just doing arithmetic operation, what we learned before, addition, subtraction, and so on, and then display the result that way. So take a look. Here I have to take all of these numbers, two plus one plus three plus two plus two plus one plus three, and then divide it by how many numbers do we have? Two, four, six, and seven. Divided by seven, and we get the result two. But what if you have a thousand numbers? What if you have 10,000 numbers? Is it efficient to type them all this way? Is it efficient to calculate them this way? So first we're going to import NumPy as NP. Then we're going to create a variable which takes the number of cups of coffee and assign it to a variable called coffee underscore consumption. Coffee underscore consumption, which is np.array and I'm going to open close parenthesis and then I'm going to pass in my list with all of these numbers two comma one comma three comma two comma two comma one and comma three in the next stop I'm going to define a new variable average underscore coffee which is np dot mean, I'm going to calculate the mean of the variable that I defined here, open parenthesis, and I'm going to copy and paste my coffee consumption here. Now, now I'm going to display the result. I'm going to use print, open parenthesis, and then double quote, average coffee consumption in cups. I'm going to use colon and then a comma and I'm going to pass in variable average underscore coffee. So if I run this cell, the result average coffee consumption in cups two. So as you can see, we are using NumPy functions to do basic calculations.